12. Well, we just wrapped up a conference on stage here at Healthy Returns about uh, literally the future of the human species. I am not even kidding. Uh, it was that uh, intense here. We're talking about CRISPR, which is this new tool uh, for gene editing. And there are a lot of biotech companies working in this space, uh, so it's investable as well. Uh, companies like CRISPR Therapeutics, whose CEO uh, joined us on stage, Intelia, Editas, and Sangamo, which is working in a different area of gene editing. Uh, this is a space that's had a lot of controversy over the last year as two babies in China um, were born whose genomes had been modified to try to make them resistant to the HIV virus. Uh, that caused a lot of controversy. And this morning, former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb telling us on stage he thought that was a horrible experiment and that anybody who's doing this before uh, all of the ethics and the science around this has been worked out should be cast out of the scientific community, guys. So uh, it's a very interesting space. These companies that we talked about here uh, are not working on editing embryos. They are working on uh, patients who have diseases, and there wouldn't be any sort of inheriting uh, of the the genome changes that are being edited in here, but uh, a really fascinating conversation. There's a lot more coming up at Healthy Returns, including a conversation with J&J CEO Alex Gorski. So we'll bring you any highlights from that, of course. Back over to you. Sound, sounds great, Meg. And on that CRISPR note, actually, we just talked to Sean Parker. We're going to play the interview next hour. He's super bullish on that space and investing heavily around it. Did want to get your take, though, on Mallincroft. Shares plunging today. What's the story? Yeah, so Mallinckrodt makes this drug called Axar. It's a very, very pricey drug. And Medicaid came out uh, and said it was going to change the way it pays for this drug. So the company said it's going to be receiving a lot less uh, in terms of uh, Medicaid funding and um, actually sued Medicaid uh, based on this. So investors are quite concerned about how the government is going to pay for this drug, which is the biggest drug for Mallinckrodt. So a very interesting thing to keep watching here. All right, Meg, thank you very much.